Welcome back to another video. So I had a lot of requests. Everyone wanted to know where I do the uh, RV slash boat bagging in the ocean. Where did I do it at? And I done it right here on this corner. Now at the bottom of the video, I will put the link for the address. And let's get started. So before I get in the water, got to have the ice. Have to have the ice. I even Google these twice as ice machines sometimes. There's the RV, 30 foot. There's the boat, 23, with the trailer, 26 long all right here we go so i've been to a lot of boat ramps uh, and to have the ice machine this close to the lunch is incredible i'm gonna show you in a second here but they got the vending machines you forgot to get that sneaker bar or those peanuts or them sunflower seeds you name it whatever you need to keep you on the edge while you're out there so 10 pounds 16 pounds two dollars buck 50 credit card cash whatever you got it takes quarters oh it still takes quarters all right quarters you name it whatever you need to get your ice Hit the vending machine one more time, and let's go. Now, right down that corner right there was is a gas station, but hey, just in case you, you got a long rig like myself, you may not have had a chance to, but there's plenty of parking here to get any rig in here, so you're good on that end. So we're going to go right down that street right there. We're going to put this thing in. So here we go. Coming out the driveway. Got to love that side camera, back camera, side camera. Got to love it. So here we go. Right, see that green sign down to the left? That's where you turn in at. Let's get to it. Drop a comment at the bottom also. Let me know if you have been here before or if you're thinking you might need to try it out. Now, this is the Alabama slash Florida line. It's right here on the edge. Now, from, if you launch from here, it's about a 25-minute ride if you do about 35 to 40 knots. Uh, it could be a little quicker, but unfortunately, there's a no wait zone because there's a, you're going to pass about two more boat, boat launches. Now, you may say, why you can go to those? Well, because those couldn't accommodate this big rig, 30-foot long RV plus the 26-foot long trailer with the boat on it. And one of those is going to be a members-only boat launch that uh, I'm going to pass by going from here to the Pensacola Beach. All right, here we go. Clouds on the top right. Got the clouds, but unfortunately... Hey, this Florida, clouds are always. Now, these are the cool kids over here to the right. All these guys over here to the right, these cool kids, all right? The reason why I call them the cool kids because they, they showing out, all right? They got the big rigs, and then they got the long trailers, and they want to bag them in. Like, come on. Any other place you go to, everybody's pulling them in. You pull in, you pull in, you pull in, you pull in. These guys right here, they're bagged in. First of all, I'm just coming in. So the, the ability for them to even... Whip all the way back around, they come back up and then bag in. They got to do it quick, you got to do it fast. At the same time, what time do they get here even have that much time? Because people are steady coming in out here all day long. So those are cool kids right there. All right, you got a guy, guy in here. He's throwing some, uh, he's throwing a net, trying to catch him some free bait. At the, got the picnic tables. Got a few people already out there. This is a, this is a nice spot. You see, they got a like, very long walkway. Plenty of boats can tie off here. Plenty of boats. This is just one side. This That's the one side. All right, right here, those, that's, that's where you're going to launch it. See, I got a boat in the way. Got to wait till you get out of the way. Two launch spots right there. And on the other side over there where that bridge is, you can walk down there, and you can just stand right there all day long and throw your pole. That's for everyone who doesn't have a boat. And you can just go over there and just throw your pole all you want. But as you see, look, plenty of parking. You can just pull right in. No pressure. Like, it's plenty of parking. These guys got a lot of gaps in between. If it was back in my neighborhood, it would be a little tighter because we, we, there's a lot of people we trying to get to those one spots. But I got a lot of gaps here. Anyone can pull in. Let me show you the other side. Hold on one second. All right. See all that space right there? Plenty of space. Now, this was a very busy weekend when I did come down here. And look, they got the porty potties. I don't know who's going to go in them, but hey, they got the porty potties. Trash cans, you name it, but plenty of parking, plenty of parking. Now you see why I said those cool kids, because all this pull in, and they, they bagged in. But hey, so that's it, and then you come back out. It's a dead end down there, and you can even park beside the street over here if you need be. Hey, you name it. I was down two days, and I parked beside the street. So here we go. I'm going to zoom in so I can show you where I was at. See, that's the Pensacola area over there. All right, that's the way out to deep. And this is where I was. I was on the Alabama and the Florida line, right here by Bridge 98. See that? That's where I was at. That's where I was at. Hey, drop a comment below. Let me know right, what so you think. There you have it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one. Quick view from the, while we're driving away, waving goodbye. Got to go back to reality Monday morning.